Hello, everybody. It is Friday, finally. It's March it 22nd. I'm Caitlin Moynihan. And I am Ryan Lee Gilbert. And over there, we got Mr. Eric King himself. Hello, everyone. The King. We are the celebrating King. some things today. We have As a we were saying, things. it is Stephen Sondheim and Andrew Lloyd Webber's birthdays. Happy Yay, birthday, legend. gentlemen. Legend. And thank you for the music. Yes, thank Ooh. you for everything. You for also, music. we are joined today, Lucille Lortel Award winner. Grammy Award winner, yes. Tony Award winner, <laughs> Katrina Lenk <laughs> is here. Talking hey. about the band's visit and so much more. You're going to get to chat. We're, we're going to have so much fun. Yes. Do you know she's won some things? Did you know that? I, I've, heard. I've heard. Yes, I've heard. yes. <laughs> yeah. Has a busy shelf at home. <laughs> Halfway to EGOT. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It's true. It's true. But before I kick you out, yep. we're going to do today's top five. Broadway is in store for some tender, loving care. Oh, oh I see where you I went. I was wondering where. So, There's yes. A lot of options uh, before we just sit here and talk about this ourselves, uh, T Boz and Chili are making a musical. Like, they're contributing towards a musical about the life and rise of the group TLC, of course. I'm here for um, it. Very excited <laughs> about this. Um, so, they want to give their story the Broadway treatment. Um, and this, this is what they said We're working on the TLC musical in TLC on Broadway. We're going to create new music for the project as well. Um, of course, course, TLC also included Lisa Left Eye Lopez, who mm -hmm. sadly passed away um, in 2002. Um, you know TLC, even if you don't think you do. Um, Unpretty, mm -hmm. No Scrubs, Waterfalls, Creep, uh, these are all TLC songs. Uh, they have a fascinating story. Um, so yes, Chili and T-Boz will be contributing to the story as well. Uh, they just released their fifth studio album in this 2017 I which didn't I didn't know either I've not been I keeping up on my TLC uh, very well yeah. um, however here's what you need to keep paying attention to broadway.com for we don't know anything else we don't know a creative team we don't know the timeline we don't know casting or anything like that but we just know TLC wants their story told on Broadway and yes. we are welcoming it with Wait. open arms so I have a trivia question for you about TLC. Yeah, do you know which boy band that Lisa Left Eye Lopez collaborated with for a single song? I do not. It's NSYNC, Space Cowboy. Oh, Whoa. fun okay. fact. Deep dive. Deep dive, boy yes. bands. I do remember TLC. she burned down the house of that real jerk. Yeah, she did. That, and that's what happens. That's what happens, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Will Ben Platt ever age out of high school? Unclear. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No. I don't know. I don't know. Actors, they, he's doing a good job. Staying in high school. I don't know how old he really is. But you know what? He's going to stay in high school because he left Dear Evan Hansen. And now he's going back to high school for the politician. I'm Ryan so Murphy's excited about first this. TV show with for his Netflix. new um, like partnership collaboration yeah. with Netflix. So left FX. Yeah. He left yeah. FX. We know Ryan Murphy. He's done everything, everything. Yep. um you know he also and he's also been very much into the broadway he did yeah, he produ produced, produced boys, boys in the band, in the band mm -hmm. which and there's also lots of rumors about that mm -hmm. becoming a netflix he just hosted a, a prom he's uh, hosting a he's prom, hosting a prom, prom viewing, yeah. viewing he's so. got funny girl always yeah, floating it's always fun. Yeah. Ryan Murphy, he's he's in the zone but we have a lot of broadway and screen favorites are going to be in the politician yeah. and we finally have the real news i'm sorry i'm buried i buried it the real news is that we finally have a premiere date which is september 27th it so is Excited. Very far away. Yes. <laughs> but at least <laughs> we can at least mark it on the calendar and it's Netflix so we can just binge it in that weekend. Mm -hmm. So it's not like we have to wait for like one show at a time. No. But this is exciting. And I feel like this is the most we've actually known about. We the, finally I, got like a plot. We finally got like a plot. So let me yeah. tell you because we've just known the politician without really knowing what it's actually about. So it follows Peyton Hobart played by Ben Platt, who is a wealthy student from Santa Barbara, California, who has uh, known since age seven that he was going to be the president of the United States. I like the determination he has. Mm -hmm. uh, but first, he'll have to navigate the most treacherous political landscape yet, becoming oh, St. Sebastian High School, and he wants to become student body president so it's it's kind yeah. of fun because I, I wasn't expecting it to be like a high school president i didn't I know thought, i didn't realize I thought that it was going to be more yeah. like actual but and listen to this that. cast it, though the cast is crazy ben plotts dear evan hansen co-star laura dreyfus tony winner jessica lange lane whoa yeah I'm sorry <laughs> Mess that Friday. Up. uh gwyneth paltrow zoe Deutsch, Deutsch, I'm yep. pretty sure. Uh, Bob Balaban, David Cornsweet, oh, Julia Schlapper, Theo Germain. Amazing people. We got yeah. Benjamin Bray. I don't know. I'm it's a very, stacked cast. I'm assuming there's going to be some singing. 
Yes, there has we to do be. know that. Oh, we, we do, do? know that oh. there will be some music involved. Yeah. There we go. So already set, ready to go. Mark your calendars. 20, September 27th. There you go. And in light of this news, all I'm going to say is Carrie Russell's on Broadway right now. <laughs> yes, and she was also the star of the movie August Rush, right? Is that yes, where you, that yeah. is the connection. <laughs> so the August Rush, uh, this has been a musical that has been sort of yeah. percolating for a long, long time. time. Um, it was originally going to have its world premiere at Virginia's Signature Theater. That is no longer happening. It is now going to have its world premiere at the Paramount Theater in Chicago. This is happening April 24th through June 2nd. John Doyle has pulled together a team of um, some of the top notch people involved Some in this. Some great names. Yes, yeah. incredible. So choreography will be by Joanne M. Hunter. It'll be directed by Greg Jarrett. Mm -hmm. uh, scenic designer Scott Pask is Beautiful. involved. Costume great. designer Ann Holt Ward. And it features a book by Glenn Berger, who of course worked on Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark and many other fantastic things. Music and lyrics by Mark Mancina, uh, who also scored the film. Um, so this is about, well, I don't, like it's, it's a story that you don't really want to ruin. You don't want to ruin, but you yeah. won't cry. At least it's, I did. It's, it's like ball. Robin Williams, it was one of like his last yeah. Freddie, oh, Highmore. Freddie Highmore Freddie Highmore oh my gosh. Yeah, incredible Carrie oh, Russell I yeah uh, Jonathan Rice Jonathan, Myers oh, um, so great. casting will be announced for this very soon um, but yes this is happening Paramount Theater in Chicago April 24th through June 2nd very excited mm -hmm. and we've got an off-Broadway casting switcheroo yeah, so this was surprising because we just, I think, wrote about this earlier this week or early last week. We but did. Things happen. Things, things happen. Uh, but So basically, Brenda Presley is going to replace Suzanne Douglas in the upcoming world premiere, Proof of Love, which is written by Chisa Hutchinson. Mm -hmm. So we just learned that uh, Proof of Love is going to be playing... Recorded by Audible at the Minetta Lane Theater because that's yes, now their that's big their partnership thing, yeah. which is really cool because now... Theater is going to accessible. You can't come accessible. to the theater. You can still you can yeah. still listen to it. But uh, originally, we uh, learned that Suzanne Douglas was going to be. It's a one one per, one woman show uh, was going to be the lead. But now uh, Brenda Presley is stepping in. Uh, Suzanne had to step out for personal reasons. So we just hope everything is okay. But uh, Presley is actually currently off Broadway right now. She's booked and busy. Uh, she's actually <laughs> she's in Hutchinson's other premiere play. Yes, so that's it's right. A long collaboration. She's currently in Shirley Goodness and Mercy, which is currently playing off. Broadway, but she's also been on Broadway in The Lions, The American Plan, Cats, Dreamgirls, the Mooney Shapiro songbook. So she's so a profesh. Good. Like yeah. it's gonna be an e it's gonna be great no matter what. Um, Jade King Carroll directs the production and it's gonna be recorded for Audible. It's gonna begin previews May 7th, open on May 14th at the Manetta Lane. Yes. Let me just tell Do you it. about the show real quick. It's gonna Proof of Love Constant, now played by Presley, thought she had a happy life and a loving husband, but suddenly a tragic accident splinters her upper-class black family and forces her to face uncomfortable truths about the, her marriage and herself. I'm intrigued. Drama. So make no sure way. to check it out. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> and these guest stars are next in line to face this infamous off-Broadway cold yes. read. Mm -hmm. Yes, everybody wants to be a part of Nassim Soleimanpour's Nassim. Mm -hmm. um, it is playing off-Broadway right now at the Barrow Street Theater. And this is the show, like, the new stars keep getting announced all the time. New people are joining, and here is who is joining soon. OB winner Asif Manvi will be mm -hmm. joining the show. Um, Marin Ireland, who I'm obsessed with. And two-time Tony nominee Krista Moore will mm -hmm. also be joining the roundup of actors who perform this. This is where they get on the stage they're handed an envelope they have no idea what they'll be doing until they start it's very cool mm -hmm. very interesting show and there there are more people involved as well the full list is on broadway.com right now you can check that out and there are a few other things there's a lot so yeah. yes mm -hmm. last night was the ain't too proud opening yes. congratulations opening. to everybody over proud. there we had a really fun time we uh we got some pictures up from arrivals very soon there's going to be pictures of uh, our exclusive the portrait, portrait booth, booth they look by caitlin mcnaney our photo director they amazing that's going to go up right after this. We have an on-the-scene opening night video coming yeah. up. Right. And before we get to Katrina Lank, yes. big news. Are you Broadway's biggest fan? Here is your chance to prove it. You yes. want to send, you want to make a video on YouTube. Not listed. Don't list it. Make it private. And then you are no longer than 60 seconds. Explain to sure. us why you are Broadway's biggest fan. Be creative. People are going to be looking at this. We're gonna, we can We're only pick one. They're going to be judged. And <laughs> here's what you get. You get to come to the Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards you this year. You get to be on, get to live, on live, live at 5. You get to sit in the seat Katrina Lank <gasps> is about to sit in. <laughs> and you, you get to see Hamilton. You get to you, see some shows. Ain't Too Proud and Be More Chill. Amazing. You get to stay in a hotel. 
It's can amazing. I enter? Yeah. Yes, I was going <laughs> like, to say. Like, can I yeah. enter? <laughs> no. Uh, so there, you can find out all the information on yeah. Broadway.com and BroadwayAcrossAmerica.com right now. Uh, yeah. You only have until April 5th, 11.59 p.m. of April 5th to do that. So Sweet. get a move on. Yeah. Do a few. Do a few. Audition. Yeah. You know? Amazing. I mean, all well, right. Thank you so much. I just love when we get to have a little chit chat, but Me I want some too. girl talk now. Guys, so you're you in for a treat. <laughs> yes, I get it. Ryan, could you tell? Uh, whoa, Ryan, <laughs> Eric, sorry. <laughs> Eric, could you tell us a little bit more about our guest? I'd love to. Okay. <laughs> Katrina Lank is currently starring as Dina in The Band's Visit, a role which recently earned her the 2018 Tony Award. She has previously appeared on Broadway in The Miracle Worker, Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark, Once, and Indecent. Her screen credits include The Good Fight, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and the upcoming The Village. Mm. Follow her on social media at the Katrina Lank and leave all your questions in the comments below. Please welcome Katrina and Caitlin. <gasps> Katrina! Yes. You're Hello. here! Thanks for having me. Hello. How are you doing? How is it going over there on the Broadway in the band's visit? How's it going? Good. Good. We're all um, getting ready for the, the, the approaching evaporating of the show, so to speak. If we don't acknowledge it, does that mean it doesn't have to happen? I think so. Okay, that's yeah, how it works, I right? So. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Band's visit, it's not closing. Don't no. worry. <laughs> it is. So, we've known about... We got the closing announcement a while ago, so mm -hmm. we, we've, I feel like thankfully we've gotten, it's become more normal that we've had a few months to like emotionally, <laughs> mentally, spiritually prepare for things like this. So how has it been to kind of have that time to like process it and be able to still continue performances and come into our last few weeks? Uh, I think it was a, like, it's the best way to kind of do a, a hard thing to, mm -hmm. to know that you have this much time and when we were told, it, it still felt like, oh, it's so far away still. So we have had an opportunity to, like you say, kind of process it and also um, claim our exit mm -hmm. in a way. Like uh, our time is up and we will now go as opposed to just dragging and limping towards some sort of imaginary finish line. Yeah. Um, so that's that's been helpful, mm -hmm. I think. Um, and we're now like just squirreling things away from our dressing rooms gradually, you know, every night taking something home so that on closing we're not like at the closing party with seven boxes of stuff. Like, I gotta go get my storage yeah. unit upstairs. I'll be right back. Sorry, You're guys. Like, I can't sign any playbills. Yeah. <laughs> my I'm busy. Oh, gosh. And I, I feel like a good majority of the cast has, has remained the same since opening. Is that right? Like, I yeah. feel like a, a good chunk of y'all have been there through, through it all. Yeah. Has that been nice? Yeah, it's a... Um, it's, an, it's another sort of um, happy, a silver lining to a, a sad thing to yeah. have so many of the original cast still together. And so we, we opened it and then we get to close it together. So mm -hmm. <coughs> that's amazing. And how long has Sasan Gabe been in the show now? Almost a year. Almost a wow. Yeah, which is bizarre. It, that it is feels wild. Like, yeah. I still feel like, because we, oh yeah, it was announced right at the day, like right after the Tonys, right? Yeah. yeah. Was, so how's that been? And like working with him and being able to now have that relationship for almost a year? He's superb. I mean, <laughs> what, you know. Uh, toss, toss. Whatever. <laughs> so he, you know, and uh, when he first, when we first started working together, I kept getting freaked out, like, oh my God, it's, it's the guy from the movie. Uh, uh. <laughs> and then finally, you know, it took a while, but now I'm, my, I've calmed down a little bit about it, and it, uh, he's just a pleasure to work with, and he likes to uh, he likes to go out in the town. Oh, he likes to see all the stuff and do all the things. And then, have we done like any like seriously touristy things with him? Um, I have not, but he uh, he has five sons, and mm -hmm. they come over, and he's he's always taking them everywhere, and. He knows way more about New York than I do now. <laughs> Funny how that always works, mm -hmm. right? It's like, let's go see the Empire State Building. It's like, I've never seen that I before. Have, I've never. You've never I've been, been to the Empire State Building? No, I need to go. How long have you lived in New York? Uh, six years? Six Wait, years. what year is it? 2019. Uh, almost seven. <gasps> well, congratulations. Yeah, so what? So you haven't done, what other like major like New York things have you never done? I haven't gone into the Statue of Liberty yet. Okay, can you still do that? I, oh. I think they let you go in the crown. Oh, just the crown. Just the so crown. You, like, <laughs> 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 you can't walk. There's can't no get, elevator. Yeah. <laughs> you have to just jump up into I haven't. I'm training for okay. it now. I, that's good. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, I haven't gone to the cloisters yet. Oh, really? I, I've gone near them. Okay. I haven't gone in. I haven't okay. been to the so Guggenheim. Like, yeah, I have a lot of things so to do. So you're circling. Yeah. Circling. Well, maybe you can do that. Like, yes. do, like in, when you should be like going to the the like half hour call. Just like make your way to other things mm -hmm. to fill up your time. Mm -hmm. Just do like that. That's my plan. Is, 
<laughs> is there anything you're, um, like, do you have anything planned to do, like, right after the show closes? You're going to vacay? Or are you just going to, like, lay low? What, what's I your plan? I am. I'm going to go to the Midwest and visit, visit my best friend who lives there. Mm -hmm. And also, August Rush will be premiering while I'm there. And I'm going to go to that theater and see it. It's my friend Georgia Boot is in it. So I'm oh very excited. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh my full gosh. circle yes. moment. Yeah. We didn't plan it. Or yeah. we can pretend that we did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, I'm excited to see my friends and see my family and, mm -hmm. like, have dinner at dinner time. Like normal people like, time. Yeah, like, yeah. Do you usually eat it like super early or like really late? With both. <laughs> you deserve it. You just did a Broadway show. You're allowed to have two dinners. I think that's okay. <laughs> what do you think? I don't want to get too sad, but what do you think is like one of the few things you're gonna miss the most when the band's visit um, unfortunately closes? The the cast, of course, mm. getting to see these people every day that yeah. uh, make me laugh and uh, always make me feel better no matter what. Um, and also. Uh, getting to hear this gorgeous music, like mm. that, and I've just gotten so used to it that I've forgotten that this is that I get to do this every night is stand mm. on stage and have these musicians so close and making this beautiful yeah. music so so nearby and just to be in the center of all of that sound, I'll, I'll miss that a lot. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. And you've been with the show because do you did it off Broadway, mm -hmm. right? So how many years now total have you been with the production? Uh, two, two years. That's amazing. That's a long time. Yeah. What? Yeah. What has Dina taught you the most in these past two years? What have you learned from playing her? Uh, I think still learning and still working on it, mm -hmm. but um, mm, learning how to be okay with yourself mm -hmm. in all of the facets of yourself, like the maybe the not so desirable parts, and mm -hmm. um, to be like, this is me. I'm not going to apologize for the fact that I'm here and there there you go it's me which is a uh, something i'm still working on but um i think that's one of the things i love about dina mm. the most that's amazing yeah. and <clears throat> it's impossible to talk about the band's visit without mentioning you know a little thing that happened last year called the 2018 tony awards <laughs> <That's that. laughs> like, oh, that? 10 is that, is that correct I, 10 yeah, yeah 10 tony awards right yeah. what has that been like in the almost year a little almost a year since since that night and that night where it was just complete sweep and that it just kind of blew up into this like phenomenon did it change your performance or i don't know how you approached things differently uh i hope not uh i know that i i got pretty wigged out by it <laughs> personally so it's a the the whole lead up to the tonys was uh, the stress of um being judged mm. like literally being judged literally. like you guys were yeah. talking about earlier with the <laughs> videos like it's we're like gonna a, judge you, you know, kind of an actor nightmare like oh no they're actually writing things yeah. down <laughs> oh god um so there was there was that stress and then once we uh were lucky enough to win all those awards then there was a different kind of stress of like mm. oh are we that good do, okay mm. now we have to do it we have to prove it oh no oh no people oh, wow. are people coming yeah. like this like okay let's see so um the best part was like there were a couple months where we that all that stress was mm -hmm. sort of gone and we got to just do mm -hmm. the show and tell the story and so um hopefully it, it has remained uh what it was yeah it's, it's hard to tell you just yeah. you, lose per, you lose perspective <laughs> oh i'm sure you know? have there have there been any like maybe besides the tonys standout moments of the show's broadway run that really like stick out to you and like made you go whoa i'm doing this like this is happening I think, oh my gosh, um, it's probably a lot. I mean, it's, it's a lot. I mean, like <laughs> every every time the show starts, I think mm. I have that feeling because yeah. I just have to stand there and look out at the audience, and it's very clear what's happening. <laughs> uh, but then also say like when Meryl Streep came back to meet us after the show. So when when those <laughs> people come, like they they take the time to come to see the show and yeah. then come backstage and meet us. That's when you're like, oh oh, I guess. Are, are we doing something that people are coming to? <laughs> this Wait, is, why, why is there a street here? What's going on? <laughs> so well, I can yeah. confirm, yes, you are doing something. <laughs> and yes, it is very good. <laughs> so good that it just won a Grammy Award. Crazy. How crazy? crazy. Do, you ha do you have it? Uh, do you have it yet? Or no, do they, they yet, haven't shipped yet. it out yet? Uh, no. Not what yet. are you going to do with it? Do you, do you have uh, like an area? Or like, I don't know. Do you I just like, you're have named on it. Casually. I, I guess it's still yeah. sort of mysterious. I'm not sure. Um, it's all up in the air. It'll if, just show if, up. There just, if one does arrive, 
I'm I'm going to I'm going to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Just be like right next to the night table. Like just, I, I mean, I don't know how big they are. Like, uh, I, I personally uh, do not have a Grammy either. So, um, but I like to think I'll that measure they're and pre- tell you. Yeah. Can you let me know like mm-hmm. the measurements? Then? What just, if it's like huge? <laughs> <laughs> it's giant, actually. I'll just put my clothes yeah. on it if I need yeah. another place oh, to perfect. just lay some stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a place where you keep your Tony? Like, in, like, or do you just kind of just like have it just be part and like live in? the room or uh, you have like a specific it's still in my dressing room oh, it's kind of that. hiding it's kind of hiding behind some books do you ever right just now? like look at it and you're like what uh, or do you just like no. let it pass no <laughs> no <laughs> you're like whatever that's well, how it pass. <laughs> well it's just uh i i get it, it's you start to think about things in a different mm. way when you start thinking about the award and yeah uh, it's a it's a weird thing. Yeah, I, I'm I sure. haven't really quite figured out how to articulate the strangeness of something like that. Like that happening mm-hmm. while you're still doing the show. Yeah, um, it can kind of get in your head in a weird way. So yeah. I, it's there. It happened. It She's there, but you're still going on. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you remember the very first sh- time you were ever on stage, like in like a school production or something? Do you remember the first show you ever did? Yes. What was it? Well, it was a dance performance. Okay. So. You know, it wasn't, there wasn't like a, a story necessarily. <laughs> there wasn't an arc. It wasn't an arc. <laughs> um, but I had, you know, a tiny little pink little outfit with a tutu on it. Adorable. Mm-hmm. How old were you? Do you remember? Uh, like four, four or five maybe. So did you Super start young. out as a dancer? Yeah, and I then was three. Yeah. How long? Do you still like keep, keep up dancing? Uh, not as much like? as I, I used to. Yeah. Let's say the past 10 years or so, I haven't mm-hmm. been doing it as much. But yeah, like my whole... The whole life. That was my first love was dance. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Do you remember what your first like theater obsession was? Or like first like Broadway show you saw? Um, my first theater obsession was probably Cats. But I As never it saw it. So oh. I don't know how that happened. Did you I watch think that? Did you watch that like I, video, like the one on VHS? I don't know. I don't I think I've ever one. seen it. But, but I just, you've never act like never. I, I don't think so. I just knew they video. were cats, and they like. <laughs> I must have seen some pictures of them like dancing. <laughs> Happy birthday, Angela Lloyd Webber. Yeah. <laughs> well, when I, to be fair, I was in Iowa, and I don't think the tour okay. came through. Yeah. Um, but I, I think I was obsessed with the pictures, and maybe we danced to it in dance class or something. So like, maybe that's maybe that's what it was. Cavity, like, I th- I'm pretty sure cavity. we did. Something like with like a tail. I love that. Yeah. Would you ever want to be in Cats? I mean, I, I don't think I can. Are you going to secretly be in that big Cats movie that everyone's oh gosh, talking about? I'm very excited about this big I, Cats movie. I'm very... What do you... It's do you amazing think it's, cats. Do you think it's going to be people or do you think it's... Are they going to be... I, act, don't, I know. don't know. There's some sort of technology they've developed. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I have... I really... I don't some know CGI, if I'm, something. I don't know if they're going to be in leotards. Like, are we supposed to be like, yes, that's a cat? Or do we acknowledge that they're famous people pretending to be... I, I don't know. I'm so Jason excited. Jason Derulo is going to have whiskers. Yeah, Jason, Der- <laughs> Jason Derulo. <laughs> he's McCavity, right? He's a sexy cat. I hope like you know how the Can hair, the CGI hair, sometimes is just so <gasps> detailed. Yeah. I hope the whiskers yeah. are like, like ooh. super detailed whiskers. That's a good detail. I love that. <laughs> Amazing. I've been hogging you up. Do we have one? Do we have time for one? I've got a time? question. Okay, okay, he's got one. Okay. So, uh, Indecent, <laughs> yeah. which uh, you started on Broadway, that's going to stage in Boston and LA, and uh, Paul Vogel is going to be uh, reprising a role, and I mean, all the original cast members are going to be reprising their roles, and. Uh, well, not all of them, but I'm wondering if you have any memories you can share from that experience, and also, are you going to have, like, extreme FOMO? Um, let's see. Memories, memories, memories. Oh, my gosh. And Again, Decent was so the show many. that um, was supposed to close, but then everyone loved it too much, and then it stayed open, and it was the best thing that's ever happened. That was I'm crazy. Saying, that's the craziest <laughs> thing. That was crazy. I just needed to, just a reminder for everybody. Um, oh, well, we, so there was the, the, the rain. Mm-hmm. There's actual rain yes. on stage Ugh. beautiful and uh during tech rehearsal <laughs> we we would have you know tech during the day and then we do the show at night mm-hmm. and because we didn't want to get our hair wet and our <laughs> we would <laughs> often do this this scene with shower caps on <laughs> Like plastic, you know, like the yeah. plastic yes. old, so old romantic. tiny shower caps. Like the ones with like the flaps on them. And well, like, the tie- like elastic, oh like elastic. To make big. sure you get like and a And sometimes line. they had little patterns on them. I'm Love not that. sure. But they were so loud. Like the rain would hit oh it so God. loud that I couldn't really hear what Adina was saying. And we would just, it would be very hard to keep a straight face looking at Adina. Like, like trying the, to be like the in the shower rain, cap, like trying to be all romantic. romantic like, yeah. like the shower cap. Mm-hmm. I love 
there. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. <laughs> Do we have one more? Yeah, um, I wanted to ask about, so you were on the first two seasons of Maisel, and you played a, a fortune teller named Cosma. Yeah. I'm wondering if there are any plans for season three, and I or so. she's going to have, like, what kind of role she might have to play. I don't know. I hope so. Please send, Knock on wood. <laughs> send some things into the universe that yeah. happens. That's a really fun set to be on, so... I'm, I'm hoping maybe something with Tony Shalhoub, maybe. A reunite. Please. Oh my Be reunited. Yes. Let's secret that right now. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. just going to put that into the universe yes, right now. Into... We can make it happen. You, every, producers of Miss Maisel, I know you're watching this right now, so. <laughs> Amy. Amy, you want to make Amy. that happen? Thank you. <laughs> oh, Katrina, thank you so much for coming. Oh, I always have, I always have such a good time talking with you. you. Everyone, you. please go see The Band's Visit. It closes April 7th. April 7th. But if we don't acknowledge it, maybe it won't happen. <laughs> it's true. But please go see it. It's at the Barrymore Theater. Please go see this beautiful show. Katrina, thank you so much for thank coming. You. Thanks for having me. Eric, could you please take us out? Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single day on Facebook. And if you like a podcast, we've got a podcast. So go wherever you get those and type in hashtag live at 5 and slam that subscribe button. Tune in tomorrow when we talk to Tom Sadowski of White Noise. <laughs>